What's up guys, Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com. All right, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what to eat to gain muscle or lose weight, all right? So first, make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video because I have another resource that I don't want you to miss out on, okay? All right, that being said, the first and most critical component to gaining muscle or losing fat is creating a caloric deficit or a caloric surplus. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but if you wanna gain weight, you need to be in a caloric surplus. If you're wanting to lose weight, you need to create a caloric deficit. That's, that's the key component, but it's very crucial, all right? So you gotta have that part down. All right, once you know that you're in a deficit or a surplus, now let's focus on some of the good foods, protein. The types of protein sources that you want are good, lean protein sources, all right? You wanna consume chicken, grass-fed beef, eggs, good grass-fed or cage-free, range-free eggs, all right? Just make sure you're getting good quality eggs for your protein sources. Protein is extremely important for muscle growth and also muscle repair, so you gotta make sure you're consuming enough protein, all right? Now the second is carbs, and the carbs we're gonna talk about in this video are carbs that you should be consuming before, immediately before, and immediately after your workouts. So basically you want simple carbs, high glycemic carbs. Carbs that are gonna help supply your uh, workouts with energy. So high sugar carbs, you're gonna want bananas, white rice, berries, all right, pomegranate, pomegranate fruit or pomegranate juice. Those are all good quality sources to consume pre-workout and post-workout. Pre-workout, you're gonna get a big dose of energy from all of the simple sugars. Post-workout, it's gonna help immediately with recovery. Recovery from the damage you just created during the workout, all right? And it's gonna help replenish your glycogen levels. So those are some of the more important and good quality carb sources to consume pre and post-workout. The third macronutrient we're gonna discuss is fats. You want good essential fats, all right? You want whole eggs, fats from whole eggs. You want avocados. You want fats from good oils. Olive oil, coconut oil, those are really good fats. Fats from those essential uh, sources are gonna help elevate testosterone levels. So guys, especially older guys like us, that is a key for you. You want to make sure you're getting those testosterone levels up again. They've been declining for a lot of years already, so you want to consume the proper sources that are going to help elevate those testosterone levels. So some of the, those are some of the key protein sources you want, the key simple carbs to surround your workouts with, and some very essential fats also uh, that you want to incorporate in all your meals. But all right guys, the next thing I want you to do is click on the bell icon below this video because I've got a part two to this video. I don't want you to miss out on part two. It's a very important piece to this first segment, all right? Basically part two is gonna give you some more food choices and also show you how to incorporate those into a carb cycling program. Carb cycling is the nutritional choice I chose for my Ripped After 40 program. It is the most optimal type of nutrition plan to follow to get quick results, extreme results. So I love carb cycling, so I'm gonna show you how to incorporate some of these food choices into carb cycling in video part two. So again, make sure you click on the bell icon, that way it will notify you as soon as part two is uploaded. But all right guys, comment below if you have any questions. Otherwise, get this stuff started, get busy, get after it, and God bless.